All right. Hello, everybody. And Hello. we're going to do a little um, celebration today since it's exactly a month today since my single, The Airport, was released. And I thought it would be fun for you guys to actually meet the melody maker and the producer of the song, Niklas Johannesson. And Niklas, can you kind of just um, take us through the process the of, yeah, of how you just, did you just stumble upon these chords? And because there's a lot going on, like there's a lot of chords going on in the song. Mm, and Yeah, well. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> I was watching a YouTube video. Right. Uh, very popular, hundreds of thousands of views, mm -hmm. where they were explaining how you write hit songs. And uh, one of the ingredients was that no more than four chords. The hit, the hit songs, they have four chords. If you go past that, you're in trouble. Okay. And, uh, and I thought, oh, let's be in trouble. Let's be in <laughs> deep trouble. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You were out and it was a Saturday night and I just sat down at the piano. Mm -hmm. And I'm not a piano player, and I think the cool part sometimes when you don't master an instrument is that you stumble on things. You're not um, when you master an instrument. Sometimes what you have learned leads you instead of you leading. You know what uh, I mean? Yeah, right. Yeah. So the rudiments and things that you've done. Uh, you, yeah. So uh, yeah, I just sat down and said, okay, let's make a song with lots of chords. So. Mm -hmm. It started like this, and, and you know when you write a song, a melody, the point is that you have a melody in your head that hopefully leads you to another chord, and this was a melody. That's a melody. I like that. Then you keep going. didn't come fast as, like that but now I just played it through and the funny part I think which wouldn't have like guitar is my main instrument mm -hmm. and I don't think I would ever come off with a melody like that because what maybe is interesting with this song which is very you know it's just not like it's hard to sing or anything like the melody itself mm -hmm. but it's the bass notes maybe because if we play the chords straight like with the root like this is a D and the next chord is a G, and the third chord is an E minor, and then an F sharp major, and then it's a uh, B minor, and then a G minor. Yeah, and then. The cool thing, I think, was that it actually starts on A, A, right. instead of... Right. It opens it up more when you play that. It starts from a... It's like starts on result straight away. Gone is a summer. Instead of... We go... But, but one, one thing that maybe provokes you, if you have a melody, and you find out that the melody is actually the root, Yeah, it, it opens up. So yeah. sometimes it's very cool to have melodies where the bass and the melody is the same. Mm -hmm. But as a rule of thumb, mm -hmm. you often automatically, like as an intuition, you would search for something else. Ba -da -da. What, what was the next chord? But there I went instead of. It's a huge difference. And it's, yeah. I mean, the only difference is the bass note, eh? And then again here, again as you just, the melody is actually the root, so the bass goes to, this is the B minor, but with a D in the bass. There was an Same here, this is G minor, but the B flat in the bass. So I think the verse is all a story about the bass, like a D with an A. All about the bass. <laughs> yeah, all about the bass. That's a G, yeah. major 7 with a G. This is an E minor. 
but with a C sharp, and this is a F sharp with an E. Yeah. This is a B flat with a D in the bass. And this is a G minor with a B flat. And this is a D with an A. And then finally, you, you say okay. <laughs> this is <went> all theoretical. <laughs> and then there's a B minor with the. With and then a D minor with a C. Instead of. Th this would sound terrible. That's terrible, eh? But if you just move the bass... Yeah, that's where the hope comes in for me. And, and, and it kicks it in, eh? Yeah. See, I'm not so theore theoretical. I'm well, neither am I. Uh, when you write it, no, but it's kind I never of think about this since you ask about it. Yeah. I thought, oh, what is it? Why, why, why might this be interesting? And I actually think it's the bass and the fact that when you write on a piano it's very easy you take a D minor you can go you, you can do so many things it's so easy and yeah. it's not as apparently easy to do it on acoustic guitar yeah to change the bass so I think that's this is kind of like an all you can eat buffet <laughs> like the keys on the piano whereas on the guitar you kind of have to like order stuff like i'll have a plate of that and a plate of that <laughs> i don't know um and what we had like was well, just like that it's gone and the cool thing when you, when you make that the g mm -hmm. the the vocal note is actually a the ninth or the second in the chord mm. which makes it the straight chord is yeah it just sounds rich yeah once you do Right. And then what we have is actually you just go an octave higher. Go. Yeah. And there's a shuffle feel going on. Was that something that you had right away? Like when you were. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't that. The verse wasn't as pumped, it was much more mellow. Right. But when it got to there, because oh, this needs to be up. Right. And it's just wasn't like a plan. No, no. The only plan was, oh, let's write a, try to write a song with lots, lots of chords. Of chords. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. And, and what it, about the intro and the outro? Because that, that came after. Yeah, right? I mean, yeah. yeah, that's a little bit to do with the song and the opening line is, God, is that summer? That was the only thing I had. And the rest, mm -hmm. I had this idea about a summer and, and, uh, the chorus was da, 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 da. it's good. it's the summer of love yeah you, i sang that you and said you, it's the summer of love and i could say see straight away that you weren't that happy with that line i wasn't really into that line but you liked uh, but i can't get it out of my head and i just couldn't get it out of my head yeah. i couldn't get that part out of my head yeah, and you liked the song i remember straight away i yeah. loved it right away and so when you said it's the summer of love and i can't get it out of my head i thought how can i make that line something that i can relate to and want to sing and that's when i thought of all the all the things that i've had to say goodbye to throughout my life and um and then the line and i can't get it back still i can't get it out of my head and it's so much better i think that's my favorite line and well you gotta want to get sing. it back but i can't get it out of my head that's you, cool you gotta want to say what you're singing you mm. know what i mean yeah yeah you as a singer, you you know that, and and I, me knowing you, I know that if you're not happy, it translates. So. But the intro, it's this classic yeah, piece. Yeah, yeah, and the, yeah, that was kind of like when you done a lyric, mm -hmm. became this thing about saying goodbye and arriving and not saying goodbye, just kind of a full circle thing, mm -hmm. and uh, and I think if, if it just starts like. <laughs> Right. It was a little, a bit out of nowhere. Okay. But if we created some kind of prelude, mm -hmm. then that was the idea. Something that sounded very classical, like if you should, if it was a movie, uh, you would mm -hmm. see some kind of 
the opening. Yeah, some opening, very yeah. classical, almost like not baroque, but but yeah, mm -hmm. like one of the so just straight straight major chords tr transposing all the time, mm -hmm. and I came up with this. See if I can play it. I'm I'm really bad on piano, but. <laughs> So that was just just major chords and maybe the cool part that it ends in C sharp or D flat mm -hmm. and the song starts in D major so it actually feels like it transpose yeah. transposes half, up to a higher place. Half an hour. Yeah. yeah. So there's a change of scenery, mm -hmm. kind of brutal but in a pleasant way. Mm -hmm. So I think that's it, like in the song, there's lots of stuff, but that's more arrangements that we did together with. And then the outro is the same, so it's kind of like a takeoff and a landing. Yeah, that felt Full natural. Yeah. The airport, takeoff, landing, mm -hmm. so this is the airport actually. Somebody's saying goodbye, yeah. somebody's waiting for to say hi. Mm. That's it. That's so cool. Thank you for sharing your... Um, melody journey with us how the airport came to be melodically and um i hope you guys check the song out if you haven't already please check it out wherever you listen to music it's these days. hopefully feels much better on the album with the real players it's on spotify it's on stuff. apple music it's everywhere and it's been an out. old school pop song i would say that was the vision always Performed live, like the drums, everything is played, and you sing it, mm -hmm. sang it in the studio. And uh, yeah, then we did lots of overdubs, but that that was based on that take that we had. Mm -hmm. With drums, bass, and piano, and you. Those things were live. Everything else we added on. Yeah. Thanks. Hope you guys are doing well, and we'll see you again. Bye. Bye.